Good afternoon, folks. We're here in appropriations, uh, continuing our work session on the um, governor's proposed supplemental budget. District 66, which is parts of the towns of Casco, Poland, and Raymond. Representative Ducharme. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. I'm Representative Jack Ducharme from House District 111, representing Madison, Norwich, and Solon. Representative Corey. Good afternoon. I'm Patrick Corey, representing House District 25, which is part of Wyndham. Representative Millett. Good afternoon, so in Millet, House District 71, Towns of Norway, Sweden, Water from West Paris. Representative Arada. Good afternoon, my name is Amy Arada, and I represent House District 65, which includes New Gloucester and part of Poland. Representative Cloutier. Thank you, Madam Chair and Senator Davis. <laughs> I am Kristen Cloutier. I represent House District 60, which is part of my hometown of Lewiston. Representative Martin. John Martin, House District 151, Northwestern Arusta County. Senator Davis. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paul Davis. I represent Senate District 4, which is all of Piscataquis County, and parts of Somerset and Penobscot. Senator Bailey. Thank you, <coughs> Madam Chair. I'm Senator Donna Bailey. I represent Senate District 31, which is Saco, Old Orchard Beach, Hollis, Lemington, and part of Buxton. And my co-chair, Representative Purse. Hi, Madam Chair. <laughs> I'm Teresa Purse. I represent House District 44, which is the majority of Falmouth, and I serve as the House Chair on AFA. And I'm Kathy Breen. I represent six and a half communities in Cumberland County, and I serve as Senate Chair of Appropriations. We're going to be brief today. We've got a few line items to vote on, and then the House is going to go back in. So without further ado, I'll ask my co-chair to get started. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. We'll begin on page seven of the MoDoc, line 107. This is in the Department of Education, General Purpose Aid to Schools. I would like to move this line item in as amended. It currently has $3.2 million for CT, additional CTE funding, and I'd like to amend that down to $1.6 million. Line, number line 107. So in as amended. Second, the in as amendment motion. So line 107 mm -hmm. from the MoDoc. Uh, in is amended rather than 3.2 as the governor proposed, we're gonna move in $1.6 million for the same purpose. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, 10, no, 11, zero. And then I'm gonna ask Maureen if I can move in right now, language part C as amended, which correlates to this line item because it's the general purpose aid to schools. Sorry, I was writing something down. I'd like to move in part C as amended and I believe Representative Millett just seconded it for me. Great, so that's the big document, a uh, big language section that governs our, our school funding formula. And um, any questions? All those in favor? 11-0. Uh, we'll now go to line 270. which is on page 16. Last Wednesday, we voted in a language part WW. This is the corollary line item to that language. And it has to do with the main housing authority and emergency housing relief. I'd like to move that in. Second. 270. Line 270. Seconded, Representative Millett? Second. Yes. Okay, uh, any discussion? All those in favor? 11-0. Now we'll go to line 306 of the MODOC. Which is the second to last page. Page 18. 
line 306. This is the Department of the Secretary of State Bureau of Administration Services and Corporations. I'd like to move this line item out. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? 11 0. And then you have language in front of you that puts in pace, place an act to require, well, it's an election transparency and audits, and it doesn't have a part number yet, which I'm sure it'll get, but um, I'd like to move this in. I, I do wanna point out it also has a replacement part A section, replacing the uh, line item you just moved out. I just wanted to draw everybody's attention to make sure they see that. And because it's brand new language, it's just, I'm moving it in, it's not amended. Correct. Um, and it, it sets up an audit um, department in the with the within the Secretary of State's office, and also does training for the clerks across the state. It, it is. I just to point out to the people listening, LD. It's very much like LD eleven fifty five, with just a few minor changes, and in this, and instead of one uh, appropriation to all other, it is adding headcount and personal services and all other. So in short, the governor put in an appropriation for this purpose, but without any positions. And after working with the secretary of state, we came to uh, use the same, roughly the same amount of money with the positions and we're moving that into the budget. Okay. So thank you. Any discussion? Yes, Representative Corey. So yeah, with the new language, I, um... I sat on VLA this year and we had this bill in it and I was a co-sponsor of the bill and I supported the bill as well. Um, and I think it's a wonderful bill. I just have one question on this. So it talks about division staff and this is way better language than we had in the bill as well. So I'm pleased with at least the language. But it talks about this division staff not engaging in political um, partisan activities. Um, how, how are we assured of that? Is there something within the Title 22? I may, I may have an answer to that. I did talk to the revisor's office about that and whether or not it would be better to put it into statute. Yeah. And they, they definitely agree with that. And I think they're working, just as a heads up, they're working to actually put that into, um, they're finding a place in statute for which it would be appropriate to put into. So they may just be creating a piece of statute that talks about that division. Is there a penalty in statute for having engaged in these types of activities? I don't, it would be probably nothing more than was uh, uh, done. But I know with um, nonpartisan staff like myself, yeah. it is in our uh, handbook that we can't engage and it would become a, a problem as far as a a human resources problem with the potential yeah. losing our job should we do yeah but that's things that's nonpartisan staff employed Correct. by the legislature not staff employed right by the i'm just giving an example so i don't know there is nothing that there's nothing that i know of that's part of the draft of this bill or the original bill that would prohibit or would make that a class c crime and i'm not sure about the legality of that Madam either chair do we have the secretary of state here today i'm not oh, seeing her it's funny you should say that because she's the one who suggested this language and mm -hmm. suggested that we make these folks, these positions similar to OPLA. Yeah. Um, so um, that's why we wrote it in to the, this uh, blippy. Um, and I don't know if she's here, but um, I'm just not familiar enough with Title 22A, I, which- I also, I want to add that according to the Secretary of State, she did reach out to the AG's office to get that particular piece of the blippy drafted. Go ahead, sorry. Representative Purse. I also think that this will then now go to the revisor's office. Will they, is that correct? That this I, they would not add something to the, but- uh, Would they maybe clarify it or not? I, I don't. Okay. I, I don't think they would add a penalty. No, I'm not 
yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. suggesting that. I was more yeah. saying that it'll ha it has another pass with what we passed here. They are putting, they are finding a place in statute in which to put it. And we can certainly, as part of our language review, as soon as that's drafted, I'll get that a copy to all of the members. Um, sorry, it's Title 21A, but as long as we can do it in language review, I guess. I mean, I'd prefer to table something until I know, but I've already talked. Okay. Any further uh, discussions or questions? All those in favor? 11 0. And we will uh, get back with the revisor's office drafts ASAP for re review. And we can revisit it if we need to before we finish up. That's all that I have on the docket for this afternoon, Madam Chair. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much.